Hello everybody and welcome. This is my setup tour. Um, you guys have been asking about this for ages and if you're worried about the spooky face it's because I've got this light because I'm about to show you a corner where there's there ain't a lot of light going on so I thought well I better get something out so that I can show you everything. Anyway so guys this is it. This is the door to awesomeness. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know, I've recently moved in. I will explain what's happening in a second, but first things first, let's get this out of the way. This is our dryer. I had to make one sacrifice and that was this dryer had to go in this room because of course you've got to keep the missus happy. If you don't keep the missus happy, then bad stuff happens, trust me. You just don't want that. So we do have a dryer in here, that's the only sacrifice but I'm willing to make that sacrifice and you'll see why in a second. So, first things first. This is the poster corner. Basically, this is gonna look like a dive bar. Uh, we've got the posters up already and I'm gonna get neon um, wording all the way across it like that and it's gonna look absolutely sweet. So, you can obviously see what's gonna be going down. Not too much worries here. We've got a bit of Titanfall. We've got a bit of Call of Duty up here. A bit more Call of Duty. Um, Star Wars. We've got some Marvel posters up there. You can see all of what's going on over there. Oh, look. Shadow of my GoPro. Um, obviously Groot, because why not? A bit of Fallout down here as well. Um, Iron Man, obviously. This is the original Iron Man 3 IMAX poster. Um, same with the Captain America Winter Soldier poster. And then we got some more stuff around here. Pretty damn awesome. Welcome to the Star Wars wall up here, guys. So we've got some posters from Star Wars all going up here. Then we've got Marvel wall. We've got some cool figures up here. Check them out. Look at them. I wish I could just sort of get rid of the light. Probably can get rid of the light now. We don't really need the light now, do we? Whoa, it's a rave. There we go. So you guys can see there, this is where we've got some figures coming down here. Bit more figures, bit of Nintendo stuff, the video games as well as you can see. And then of course we've got the Marvel comics going all the way up. Beta Ray Bill's right there, pretty damn awesome. Going all the way up there, all across there. And obviously some figures on top there as well. This is the nerdiest room ever. More Fallout up here as well. I'll chuck this, chuck that there. Um, more Fallout going up here. This is my gaming chair, so where I put it when um, it's not in use and I need this space for playing my guitar or whatever. Speaking of guitar, this is an Epiphone Firebird. Pretty damn awesome as you can see. I've had that for years. As well as the Capo, it's a shark Capo. Pretty damn cool, it just looks like the shark jaw is just biting it, it looks really awesome. This here is my other guitar, so my bass guitar. Um, and of course we've got the Juggernog fridge down there as well uh, for cooling all the beers. Tools, that's the random stuff drawer. Everybody's gotta have a stuff drawer. And that's where we stuff all of the stuff in the stuff drawer. Up here, we've got a smoke grenade. Not sure when and what I'm gonna use this for, but it's there if we need it. Of course, we've got Roadhog, some other figures over here, um, some Far Cry 4 stuff. Legia Chris, that's actually from the original Monster Hunter Tri Limited Edition. You got a controller with it for like an extra fiver, it's pretty damn awesome. Same with Majora's Mask right there as well. We've got Majora's Mask, that's from directly from Nintendo Direct when it was up for four, then we've got obviously Fallout for Pip Boy is there as well. Drawers full of mostly clothes are there. What's where I hang my bag after a hard day of work? But let's go back to this corner anyway. Um, got a drawing of a figure that I've got over there from someone. My Welsh flag, obviously, because I am at heart a little bit Welsh. Um, down here we've got stuff that is yet to be confirmed of what I'm doing. There's a PS2 down there. Some lightsabers are going to hang on the wall, and then, well. Let's get to the main event. So uh, over here, we've got spotlights. These are used for lighting backgrounds and stuff when I'm um, doing streaming stuff. <clears throat> Another one over here as well. So I'm gonna have a green screen that goes behind me soon for when I'm streaming. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. They'll be used to, uh, to backlight that as well. Obviously these can be turned off whenever and they're continuous LEDs as well. So yeah, we can turn this off whenever. I'm just using this one right now to light up these posters. Big shout out to Rad Austin 27 an old friend of mine from my old channel. These are Call of Duty perks from Call of Duty Zombies. So you've got um, Quick Revive there and Juggernog and Double Tap Poo, Widow's Wine, Tombstone making its appearance, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, Mule Kick, Flopper, PhD Flopper of course, Electric Cherry, Vulture Aid, Who's Who, 
and Deadshot um, Daiquiri. And basically, of course, they're a big place in my heart because of um, Call of Duty Zombies and what I used to go through my old channel. Um, I kept these for about two and a half years and then I framed them because I always had this idea, this is exactly what I wanted to do with them. They look goddamn awesome and I'm well happy with the effect, so yeah. Now let's get on to the main stuff, desk. All right, desk is 120 pounds, you can buy it on Amazon. It is absolutely awesome, super sturdy. I've stood on this desk and it's got a load of weight on it as well from these, um, from these things here as well. We'll start from the left and move to the right. So Nintendo Switch, which is indeed plugged in um, to my Predator gaming monitor, we'll get to that in a minute. Bose sound system for when I wanna kick some tunes and have some nice stuff there, but also obviously it's portable so I can take it wherever I want. Blue Yeti microphone there. In fact, we'll even shine a bit of a light on it so you can see it better. Woo! Blue Yeti microphone there. Only complaint I've ever had about the Blue Yeti was this, this blue logo fell off and I had to glue it and then I got glue over the side of it so it's a little bit mucky, but you only guys never see that. Obviously mounted on a boom swivel arm so I can take it wherever I wanna go and then fold it away when it's not in use like so. Uh, creative uh, PC speakers as well. Um, they are goddamn awesome. Just exactly the right amount of loudness that you need for this sort of size of room. Would I ever go up in size? Probably not. Uh, my Turtle Beach Stealth 400 broke, so I bought a pair of 500s instead. Logitech C920 webcam, fairly famous for being pretty much everybody's webcam um, on YouTube, so I'm sure you know what that is already. When we get to the keyboard as well, RGB, full RGB Corsair keyboard, um, brown switch caps, it's the only brown switch cap one they do, I can't remember what it's called, but if you type in brown uh, key caps Corsair RGB keyboard, that will be the one. Logitech G900 wireless gaming mouse, absolutely incredible. This bad boy has got a better response time than a wired mouse, which is awesome for gaming, super accurate. And then we've got this NPET RGB mouse pad as well. Um, whenever my mouse runs out of battery, I just plug this in here um, and then it acts as a wired mouse if I need it to for whatever reason. Obviously, I actually prefer it to be on wireless, but whenever it's not in use, then I can just plug this one back in here so it's powering the uh, powering that there. Millennium Falcon, the only reason why I put this here as a holo it's like a hologram, it's really, really cool, um, is that it was RGB and somebody got it for me as a present for Christmas and I was like, that is perfect, that'll go well with my setup, so that's there as well. And we've got um, the spotlight. Actually, I'll go to these spotlights first. They are 12 quid from Amazon. They come with different lenses and stuff like that as well. They're really, really cool. They come as a pair, so you get two. Perfect for doing YouTube stuff. All I'll say is if you ever put them at your face, they are bright, and more importantly, there's no way of dumbing down the LEDs. It's one shot only. Um, and I would also say that they are hot. Like, you feel the heat coming from them, which is cool. Um, RGB controller, so this bad boy does the RGBs that are on the back of my monitors, um, which you can see back here now, changing colors and stuff like that. They're, they're not, I could get them as smart ones, but I think that's probably a little bit too much of a waste of money. Um, these do just fine. Uh, this bad boy is connected and powered, so, because uh, I can't reach my PC, because my PC's down there, that's plugged in through there. Uh, and then wireless charger for my phone as well. It goes on the end there, so after a long day of work, I can charge my phone. But now for the big stuff. So down here, we have got my gaming rig. My gaming rig is very simple. It's very elegant. It's very effective. And in here, we've got a Palette GTX 980 Ti graphics card. Still beasts pretty much anything at 1080p gaming. I will get a graphics card upgrade at some point, but not quite yet. Um, loads of hard drives. I can't even name how many hard drives are in there, but the main one is a um, Samsung 500 gigabyte Pro SSD. That's the boot drive, and you can see there's a, a SanDisk one there as well, which I haven't mounted yet, but I am gonna get around to doing it. A Corsair RM850 watt power supply. Corsair carbide case, Corsair. Um, H100i water cooler, Corsair Vengeance RAM, um, some Noctua fans are in there as well. Uh, and we've got the motherboard being a G1 Gaming 7 motherboard um, with an Intel i7-6700K processor. So it is a glorious little laptop, uh, laptop? Gaming PC. Um, and then over here, this is actually an air purifier. This is used to Effectively, it's used to sort of try and catch the dust that comes out the back of this, because this thing pushes a ton of dust. You also see the Elgato Gaming Pro in there as well. That's how I catch my footage. 
underneath here is Spaghetti Junction, but what it means is that the way I've attached it is that from here, you cannot see any wires whatsoever, and we're pretty damn low down. You'll never be that low down, so um, it is pretty awesome. We've got the BenQ um, 2420HD. Uh, they don't make these anymore, but this has been um, sort of was my main monitor for about five years. Now it's my secondary monitor. It's um, 21 inch, uh, 24 inches, pretty cool and pretty sweet. Um, then we come over to the main event, the Predator 144XB271H. It is only 1080p, but the reason why I got this rather than the 4K monitor is because I'm not ready to upgrade to 4K just yet. Um, so I wanted the best 1080p monitor I can get, and that is this bad boy. But you ask, this all looks very cool and very well. But what happens when it's all smart? Oh yeah, my PS4. PS4 is down here, guys, in this little cubby hole, which is pretty damn awesome. And my amplifier's there. But anyway, what happens when we get the RGB in? Because you guys are asking right now, oh, I keep forgetting shit, I've got too much stuff. Um, around here, you'll see that I've got the Mad Cats 3Q7s with my PC headset. Um, and this is mounted on a swivel arm, so you can like move it basically anywhere. It can come like here, or it can come around here, or it can come up here, so I can mount it anywhere, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. Um, but anyway, let's get back to it. Everything here is actually smart controlled bar the RGBs on the back of the monitors. So, Alexa, turn on my desk. Okay. And et voila, RGB desk and lights. And it only gets a little bit better because with one simple switch on my phone, and this is smart as well, um, then I can turn my light up top into something truly magnificent. And that is it there. Check it out. So now this bad boy is changing color from purple to blue to violet to red. And you can see that it sort of syncs with everything else at the same time as well. And then all we've got to do is turn this bad boy off and turn this bad boy off. There we go. And we are in full gorgeous LED RGB beauty, multicolored everything. Um, and it works really well. We've got smart LEDs that go around the outside from low has as well as a smart low has bulb as well, controlled of course by the Amazon Echo Dot over here. And the whole house is actually um, smart uh, enabled house home thing. It's pretty damn awesome and I love this setup. The setup is awesome. This is where I'm going to be making all my videos from now on, doing all my streams. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video anyway. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about a setup video for a while and finally I have a setup to be proud of. So if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you smash that like button and smash it hard. Um, normally I would leave links to where I bought everything uh, for the setup in the description on Amazon below. I would have a frogging job trying to find some of this stuff, as well as the fact that you can't actually buy some of this stuff anymore. But the monitor that you can't buy anymore, which is that one, I mean, you can find a replacement for that, it's easy, it's not a great monitor. The Predator one, uh, I'm not sure if they started a new line of those yet. Uh, the Blue Yeti, obviously you just type in Blue Yeti, just type in whatever name I said, basically, and you'll find them anyway. Um, but if you enjoy the video, guys, make sure you leave a like rating, because it helps me out massively. Share the video, show me your setups, go onto Twitter, go onto at MrDaveTheRay41 on Twitter, and share a photo of your setup with me. See, so I can see what you guys have done. Maybe get some ideas, upgrade this one. This one's not finished yet, as I said. We're gonna have neon going in this sort of dive bar background over here um, soon. Uh, this is actually gonna be moved and taken away soon as well. Find a new home for the stuff on the top here. And we're gonna do something with this wall. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. I might get a projector, hang it from the ceiling. Um, so we can have like mini movie night and like lie down here and then look up at the ceiling. Or I might actually, get a projector that projects onto the ceiling um, and that way from like here or something and attach it just beside here to the desk. Um, the other thing you'll notice with the desk, obviously cable management on the top is brilliant. Um, down here we've actually drilled a hole through it so that you can see the minimum amount of wires possible. There's no clamp or anything like that. Um, so it, it does look rather gorgeous. But guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, big moves with love offs. Bye-bye.